my name is Mr. Marion, and we're going to talk about my two friends here. This is my friend Pink, and this is my friend Purple. Pink has come under some issues. He's having some troubles at school. He isn't having a good time. You know, some people have picked on him, and he does, and he just has nobody to trust in or believe in. He doesn't have a relationship with Jesus. And when he comes under the fire, he has nothing to secure him. And he's afraid and he has fear. So, so when he comes under fire, he just has nothing to keep him going. Now, as we light the fire back up, yeah, we'll talk about purple. Purple has some troubles at school, too. But he doesn't fear. He has a relationship with Jesus. And he puts his trust in God that he'll help him through each day. And he believes in him. And him and Jesus have a really good relationship. And when he comes under fire, he is able to withstand it because he's filled with the Holy Spirit in 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, For God gave us a sp spirit, not of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. So when we're able to trust in God, He doesn't give us fear. And His Holy Spirit takes care of us and helps us through this. We'll see in our story, David vs. Goliath, that David wasn't a very big guy. He was still a kid. And he trusted in God. And he was able to accomplish something amazing. I hope you guys enjoy your story.
Steph's cup. Um, Mr. Marion was telling us about how if we have God in our life, we don't have to fear. So I want to tell you a little story about David, King David in the Bible. I mentioned him last time, right? We talked about his great-grandmother, Ruth. And um, let's hear about what David did. So David and Goliath. Now the Philistines gathered their forces for war and assembled at Soko in Judah. Saul and the Israelites assembled and camped in the valley of Elah, and they drew up their battle line to meet the Philistines. The Philistines occupied one hill, and the Israelites another, with the valley between them. A champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp. He was over nine feet tall. That's like two of me. Almost. He was over nine feet tall. He had a bronze helmet on his head and wore a coat of scale armor of bronze. Goliath stood and shouted, to the ranks of Israel, choose a man and have him come down to face me. If he is able to fight and kill me, we will become your subjects. Saul and all the Israelites were dismayed and terrified. They were full of fear. They didn't trust anybody. Goliath shouted his challenge every morning and evening for 40 days. One morning, David, a shepherd boy from Bethlehem, arrived at the camp with food for his brothers. David saw Goliath and asked the Israelites about him. Then he went to Saul and persuaded the king to let him go fight the giant. David was only a teenager when he did this. Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put on a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on his head. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I am not used to them. So he took them off, and then he chose five smooth stones from the stream and put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag, and with his sling in his hand approached the Philistine. <laughs> Goliath looked at David. He looked him over and saw that he was only a boy, ruddy and handsome, and he despised him. It means he didn't like him at all. He said to David, I am a dog. Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And David said, I come against you in the name of the Lord. The battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it, and he struck the Philistine on the forehead hit him right here. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. David ran and stood over him and he took hold of the Philistine's sword and drew it from the scabbard. And after he killed him, he cut off his head with the sword. And when the Philistines saw that their hero was dead, they turned and ran. Then the men of Israel and Judah surged forward with a shout and pursued the Philistines. So because David was able to overcome his fear and not be afraid because he knew God was with him, he was able to defeat this giant, and Israel won the battle. So as you go about your week this week, remember that God is with you, and you don't have to be afraid.